The tibia and anterior, again, a kind of postural muscle as such, uh, very important in, in walking, standing, so we don't fall over. Uh, it attaches on the lateral condyle, uh, or lateral condyle and proximal two thirds of the tibia, the interosseous membrane between the tibia and the fibula, and the deep fascia and lateral intramuscular septum. It runs down and to the medial and plantar side of the medial cuneiform bone and the base of the metatarsal bone. It almost gives like a support to the arch as well to some extent. So because it's quite an important muscle and its action is to uh, dorsiflex the ankle joint, so basically it pulls the ankle joint up and insists in inverting the foot, which means it's gonna relax your foot in a second. It will just bring the foot inwards. When it contracts eccentrically, eccentrically basically means a kind of a braking action. It decelerates the plantar flexion at the, at the heel and diversion of the midfoot. So basically it controls the foot as you're, as you're um, in mid stance, the midfoot. There's also a di other dynamic stabilization of the mid tarsal joint and accelerates supination of the foot before the heel strike. So basically as the heel hits the ground and wants to turn, it's gonna control that. It's an important muscle, obviously because of its own important muscle, it's prone to trigger points. The trigger points in tibialis anterior can kind of mimic sort of shin splints or uh, sometimes people call them stress fractures when they're not the same thing. So this is called an anterior pain down the down the shin. It can also be uh, pain can be experienced in the ankle and in the arches. And people that have sort of fallen arches or problems with their the the structure of their foot will often um, cause the tibialis anterior to become sort of hyper contracted and, uh, and um, quite painful. So these are all the sort of good recipes for, for myofascial trigger points, which we can then uh, uh, needle and, and relieve. So it, it's, it's, if you're kind of getting this pain down the medial border and even around the foot, you often think, think about today as anterior as a, a, a potential culprit. So the patient is in a supine position because we want to find this anterior muscle. Get the patient to dorsiflex their, their foot or pull their toes up, lift your toe, and then you can feel the muscle contracting underneath your fingers. Again, a 30 millimeter, 40 millimeter needle, probably a 30 millimeter would be more than enough. And you're going to basically try and isolate the muscle with a pincer grip and come from a superior to inferior kind of direction. Uh, be careful, you know, you're not going to go in too much and it marks the path of the deep fi uh, the fibular nerve or the common perineal nerve. So we'll pinch the grip, locate the um, trigger point and come for a superior in inferior uh, direction to, uh, to needle. And we can have a look at that in a little bit more in close up. So the tibialis anterior, we uh, get the patient lying in supine. You can do this with or without knee support. It's actually a bit more comfortable with knee support, but you don't necessarily need a bolster to really sort of bend it up as you would have done for the quadriceps, but you can do a bit with a towel or something like that. Using a 30 millimeter needle, um, one will find the sort of tibialis anterior, get the patient to, to lift their foot up uh, and locate the muscle with the test, relax. Pincer grip the muscle, isolate the trigger point and then needle in a, a superior to inferior directions. Be careful because the deep lateral border of this muscle marks the, the path of the deep fibular nerve and the anterior tibial artery and vein. So you want to be careful going in a sort of a flattish sort of angle rather than a, tight, uh, a, a deep angle like that, a flattish angle, try and pincer grip the muscle itself and the trigger point and then needle accordingly. If you found this video useful and want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe below and don't forget to hit the notification bell.